For a function to be continuous, we need to be able to draw it without lifting up our pencil. This is very clearly not continuous. We didn't even need to use the equation down here. But what if we didn't have that? Now we need to figure out the values in our domain that meet up. So in this case, four and four are kind of shared between two different parts and six and six. So we're going to plug in four for both of these and see if we get the same thing. So we plug in four for the first one, we have four minus two, and that is equal to two. If we don't get two for the second one, it is not continuous. We're gonna take our second one, plug it in, two times four minus six. This is eight here. Eight minus six gives us two as well. So we're safe for the first part. If this was on a graph, we would see these two parts of our function intersecting each other. Now, let's take the second one, which is six. We're gonna plug it in to our two x minus six. And when we do that, we get six. And then for two thirds x plus two, we plug that in two thirds times six is going to give us four and four plus two gives us six as well. We got the same thing for both. So this function is continuous. I'll see you next time.